please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, Storm Nation, and welcome to the Storm Morning Announcements. I forgot to mention that we finally got a desk. I'm so excited. Today is October 6, 2022. I'm Alexis. And I'm Gabe. We're going to keep reminding you that grades will be closing on Friday. Make sure to check with your teachers if there are any assignments you need to complete. Don't forget that you can support our cheer program at Raising Canes on West Valence Surprise today. Mention a matching prep cheer and Canes will donate 15% of sales to our cheer program. Now, today's kid at Hope is Darian Stadelman in 12th grade. He is being recognized by Mr. Bally, who had this to say about Darian is always engaged in class and cares deeply about what he does. In world cultures, we sometimes talk about things that are surprising, and Darian always responds in a way that shows how much he cares about people. He is always eager to learn more and has made great contributions to the class discussions. In case anyone is interested, he loves anything red velvet. Don't miss out on the groovy opportunity to attend our Disco Fever Homecoming. Tickets are available to purchase for $50 during our lunch or online, but no tickets will be sold in the front office. The last day to purchase tickets online is October 17th at midnight, and the last day they will be sold at lunch is October 18th. Homecoming will be October 20th at Uptown Alley from 7 to 11 p.m. Homecoming is an event for high school students only, and the dress code is semi-formal. On that note, listen up juniors and seniors, because you will now be able to run for a spot in the homecoming court. Those interested in running for homecoming court may sign up on the court nomination forms located in Ms. Pupo's or Ms. Baker's room until this Friday. The voting for homecoming court will take place after fall break on Monday, October 17th. Now we have a couple announcements for people that are in clubs. For our singers and songwriters, the Vocal Performance Club will meet today from 3.45 until 4.45 in Ms. Perry's room. Honor Society meetings are this week in room 318. NHS meets today at 2.40, and NGHS meets tomorrow at 3.45. All current and prospective members are encouraged to attend. Attention middle school students, the first eSports practice for middle school will begin Tuesday, October 18th from 3.30 to 4.30. Now for some sports news for current and aspiring athletes. Any middle school girls interested in playing softball this season, the final tryouts are today on the backfield from 4 to 5.30. Please come in appropriate athletic attire and bring any softball equipment you may have. If you have any questions, please contact Coach Franco. Varsity Girls Basketball tryouts will be held Monday, October 24th from 7 to 9 p.m. With a mandatory team meeting Wednesday, October 26th from 4 to 6. Please bring appropriate basketball attire, shoes, and water both days. If you have any questions, contact Coach Walker, Weitzel, or Mold. We have varsity baseball as an available sport for all high school boys. If you're interested in playing baseball in the spring, please stop by Mr. Weitzel's office to put your name on the contact list. Today we have three storm birthdays. Happy birthday to Tristan Erickson, Annabelle Lynn, and Michael Hopper. If you see them around today, make sure you wish them a happy birthday. For James' famous birthday, we have Addison Ray, named the richest TikTok personality by Forbes in August 2019. Now, now we'll be passing, passing it off to Lex and Josh for the weather. weather. Outro. Mm. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm with Lex. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of. Hi, I'm Josh, and I'm with. Lex. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 92 degrees and a low of 70. There's a $2 chance chance with 30 pound sign hashtag humidity and winds moving east at a speed of 7 miles per hour. The weather on Mount Everest is quite similar to this very classroom with a high of 3 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of negative 12. You didn't mess it up this time. Now Ashton with one fact. Oh yeah, me. Welcome back to another fun fact that's either too ridiculous to be true or too true to be ridiculous. Today's fun fact is that CTW nearly sent Big Bird into space, but due to the fact that his suit was too big, they could not. There is a timeline where Big Bird is a casualty of the Challenger disaster. I'm just kidding.
Thanks for watching Stormation. Have a stormtastic Thursday. Come in next time where maybe we get chairs that go up this desk. I like it.